guys, welcome to Family Fun Pack. Baby Chloe's four days old today and we're heading back to the NICU to visit her. All right, we're heading inside the hospital. We're heading to the spot where we check in every day. I have to say, the children's hospital is very, very cute. And look at this. She's so cute and colorful here. We stopped in this little store on the way and I saw this bib and I think that I have to get it. Like, <laughs> it's just kind of really cute. These are so cute. These are like little photo props for babies. How adorable is that? I'm watching my husband for the second time. Yes. Oh, look at you. Yeah. You graduated? I'm your nurse today. Hi. Hi. She is adorable. Thank you. <laughs> I mean, come on. Look at this. This is so cute. This is a cute sheet. Chloe, are you going with that? Yeah. Or no. <laughs> They started her on vitamins today, so her milk has this different, like, gray kind of color to it. But this is all she's eaten, and this is, she only had one ounce, and this is, like, probably a half ounce still left, so. She needs to wake up and eat. Are you going to wake up? I think the doctor's going to come talk to us today, but just so you guys can know, this is a two ounce bottle. So she's supposed to be able to finish this at every feeding. One ounce is about to where my finger is right here. So she's only eaten like half of what she should mm -hmm. right now. So that's why we're like, come on, baby girl, you gotta eat. Yep, you gotta do one of those bottles every three hours. Yes, every three hours she needs to finish this. So she's, she's definitely not where she needs to be you know, eating. <laughs> yeah. But she's got the sleeping part of it down. Yeah, you're a tired baby, that's for sure. I noticed yesterday that she had little eyelashes coming in. And if you look really closely, you can see these small little eyelashes. We expect them to kind of take her on uh, what she's taking because she's still little, right? She's only three days old. Mm. Um, so that's really good. We want to make sure that she gains a little bit more weight before, um, but we're anticipating that tomorrow if she gains weight mm. and she continues to eat as well as she's been eating, that you guys could possibly go home. Oh, sweet. So, um, that's amazing. Yes, so again, that's like no promises. She'll tell us if she can do that or not, but typically um, uh, what we're seeing is really good. We checked her bilirubin level um, yesterday night and it was low risk. So she doesn't need any Billy lights. Okay. And the best thing for her is to eat and poop and that's gonna help that Billy okay. Ruben level go down as well. Awesome. Um, yeah, so those are all really good things. Um, the other, so because we're thinking of, you know, babies doing so well and might um, be able to go home this week, uh, we, we start like discharge planning. I know she's already gotten her hearing screen. She has. Oh, yes. Okay. Good. And yeah, she passed those that. ears. Uh -huh. Good. Um, we have the newborn screen collected already. Yes. Um, the other things we need are um, she would need a CCH, C C H like a pulse ox screen because she didn't get an echo and she hasn't been here for seven days. Okay. So we will need that, which is all like normal things. It just makes sure that you know she's reaching oxygen um, to her legs and her hands equally. Um, so we will need that. The other thing I wanted to talk to you about, do you have a pediatrician in mind where your other kids go that we can We send? do okay. have one. Can we write down the name? Yeah. You might be able to hear the sound here and it is our bottle getting warmed up. Little Chloe is actually a little bit fussy, which is a great sign. Are you actually hungry? I hope that's why you're fussy. Today so she's 5 pounds 14 ounces now. 5.8 pounds. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Well, I've been gonna eat all this. <laughs> Just kind of chugging away here. All right. And like she said, the more she drinks and poops, the better for the jaundice. Good. She's a little yellow. Yeah. She was kind of sound asleep, but I woke her up, and then the twelve, she she was awake. 
Okay. After I changed her diaper, she was pretty white. Okay. But like you say, you go home tomorrow, keep track, and then when you see your pediatrician Thursday, bring that with you. Okay. Yeah, and they can let you know. Okay. Because they'll wait her there and do all that. Okay. Well, as you guys saw, we just had the doctor come in and our nurse. Oh my gosh, she just drank the whole thing. Look at you. Shampoo. I know. Okay, we're gonna burp and hopefully keep it down. That's amazing. That's probably one of her biggest feedings. Good, good, good. The nurse said that she's been asleep for most of her feedings and they've had to wake her up. So her ability to wake up and need to eat isn't quite there yet. So we're gonna have to work on that. But they said we could probably go home maybe tomorrow or the next day, which is amazing. Everything's looking so good with her. They said she's just super healthy, super lucky to be big. Even though she is still losing weight, they just want us to keep track of everything she eats and how often she has a dirty diaper and then bring it to the doctor this week. So we need to schedule an appointment for basically the day after she comes out of here. Um, today, she's also gonna do her car seat challenge, her first challenge at only four days old. <laughs> well, I think she's technically three days old still. But she's almost four days old and um, she has to do that they said they want to make sure her vital organs can be protected and everything because she is smaller um, that's the most important thing about her car seat as well as of course like we mentioned being able to breathe and keep herself in there safely and everything so that what else anything else yeah. that might be about it so things are looking pretty good I have to show you guys. Well, first of all, you might notice that Chloe has a new bed sheet on and that's because when I was changing her, there was a minor explosion and everything got dirty. So <laughs> we had to change her. But here is the bib that we just bought her. And here it is in comparison to her body. So those are her little feet right there. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> it's just as big as her whole body. And at some point, this is just gonna cover her chest, so. Anyway, oh, don't shiver, don't shiver. I'm continuing to watch my baby safety videos. We're doing CPR right now. Matt's on the phone with our medical insurance trying to get Chloe added on because she has to have some doctor appointments and Chloe's in her little bed. So page 42 of the journey book talks about the move from hospital to home. Matt said he was getting hungry and yes, I'm laying down because something about this chair is making my back hurt so badly. I've been in incredible back pain since we started spending our whole entire day here at the NICU. So I'm hoping that if I lay down, it might help. So I'm here on this bed like this watching my baby videos everything we have to watch to be able to take our baby home there's a few good hours of footage on this so just enjoying the videos and chloe's over there sleeping so things are stable and continuing to go well i just found out today they've got this amazing cafeteria downstairs I got some tortellini, um, shrimp, garlic bread, and chickpea stew. Christine thinks I'm weird because I eat things like shrimp, so let me know if you guys eat shrimp and things like spinach. There's not really anything Christine could eat down here, so we'll have to figure out something else for her. Well, I got Christina Uncrustable and some baked glaze. Uh, she couldn't have any of the sandwiches there. They all had onion or garlic, so hopefully she likes this. Before I go back, I have to show you guys this really cool wall. Wall. Thank you. 
in Star Wars. Everything's just so cute here. Hello. Oh, looks like Chloe's eating. Oh, maybe a little more than half, actually. Oh, good. Speaking of yeah. eating, you need to eat. So I brought you a little snack. Oh, Hopefully you. you like it. Chips. Is there two things? Oh, yeah. Oh, those are not possible. crustable. I'll have that on crustable. Sorry, I couldn't really find you anything fresh since you said you didn't want a banana, so... Well, you never know if it's, like, brown. I know. It's hard to tell. <laughs> you know, some of them had marks on the peel yeah. and stuff. I don't so. like squishy bananas that much. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you. That was nice. Welcome. And there's our little Chloe, fast asleep. Even though she always looks a little concerned when she's asleep. <laughs> I'll scoot back so you guys can see just how she looks in her bed. There she is, look how cute. She looks perfect right there. And here's a bigger zoom out. So there she is, there's Matt. We're just kind of hanging out. Yeah, that's all we do is sit in this room, stay with our little baby. Oh, don't be fuzzy. We're about to do Chloe's hearing screening. I'm sure she's going to pass with flying colors. Yep, for EEG, for any baby that's got any child that they're concerned how their brain's working. New prep, and it's to get rid of any oil or dandruff that's on the skin. Um, new babies have a lot of have a lot of exfoliating that needs to be done. I hope, somewhat. Oh, I see. A millionth of a volt. Mm -hmm. Gosh, that seems so small. It is. <laughs> well, Plus, the EKG is a thousandth of a volt. Oh my gosh! Wow. But we have to go through the school. We have to. And if you're interested in how, because I have this. People ask me this all the time. How can you tell if the baby's hearing? Yeah. If you look up on your phone, B A E P yeah. waves, you'll be able to see the actual waveforms. Okay. This this machine only does pass or refer. It only is looking for the fifth waveform. If they don't pass this test, they get that particular test. Okay. And basically, it's called a far field evoked potential. If you're interested. Oh yeah. And it is, um, some people are like, you're, you're nerding out for me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But for sure, a while, they more now. So if you look oh. at those waves, and it goes through, yeah, um, don't fire me if I can't get it all <laughs> for you. Third is the periolus, inferior colliculus, lateral lumnosus, all of that fun stuff but it's parts of the brainstem. And which part is taking, it's supposed to come in around 6 thousandths of a second. If it comes in a little bit later, then they can put their, still get the waveforms, then they just need your hearing aid. Okay. Sometimes it can take a couple hours. Oh. It's on the baby. And she was at her left ear, she's 383. And she needs what to pass? 160. Oh, so she's good. Mm -hmm. In the left ear? Yeah, like here. Good. And only because you were really curious of what it sounds like. Yeah. If, if they okay. don't pass this test, they get a test that starts out at 75 decibels. Oh, and she's already done. Good job, baby girl. Chloe passed her hearing test with flying colors. And it turns out that the nurse who came in and did it, well, she's probably higher than a nurse. Um, she is the mother of someone that we know from our hometown who has a kid our kid's age, so small world. Also, I have to show you guys her cute little bed because if you look up close, you can see how cutely painted it is. Everything here is just so nice. They try to keep it really happy. Well, we're gonna say goodbye to baby Chloe for now. 
She passed her pulse oximeter test, which is also great news. Oh, did you hear me say that? <laughs> it's funny because she's in the five pound range, but her little cheeks are so chubby. <laughs> Don't be sad, baby. Don't be sad. It's okay. Oh, I can't leave if you're sad. We gotta go take the kids some places. They have some soccer and some stuff we have to take them to. It's okay. Well, I just checked her diaper and it turns out she has a dirty diaper, so I'm gonna change that before I leave. Okay. Bye bye, baby girl. Let me fix that pacifier. Here we go. There we go. There we go. I know you're about to be hungry soon. Okay. I'll see you soon. It took us a little bit to be able to leave Chloe today because she's been getting this diaper rash. The nurse said that she didn't have it when she got on her shift, but the rash has been getting continually worse. Mm -hmm. So they're calling a skincare specialist to come look at her, and they said they're going to prescribe her a whole regimen of powders and creams and sprays that they'll be using all together because she's practically bleeding. Like, it's a really, really bad rash. Really like, it just bad. looks horrible. It's so red, and I feel so bad for her. So, is the door not opening? No. Is it locked? I guess we're stuck. Uh-oh. Is it unlocked? Is it pull or push? Oh. Well. Activate. <laughs> I don't know what we're doing wrong. We're gonna go find a different door. Anyway. She has this bad rash. What? What's going on? Oh, that's not good. Sounds like someone's having a medical emergency. That's not good. Gosh. I don't like hearing that. Um, gosh, that's too bad. Anyway. Diaper rash is the least of your worries when you think about that, huh? Yeah, we're really lucky so <laughs> My far. My gosh, yeah. Well, now we gotta go home to see the kids. I just got home from the gym. Matt was here with everybody else while I was gone. They were kind of trashing the house like all day, so we'll get to that later. But um, I was thinking I would get the diaper bag out because it's very possible Chloe could come home tomorrow. We don't know, but I thought we could at least be ready. This time will be prepared. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we have this kind of small pile of baby stuff. Those are our bottles. Hopefully we can use them all. Oh, grab the box of shoes. We have to show you guys these shoes. My mom and my sister were shopping and they were like, can we get these? Do you want to buy these? So I was like, yes, buy them. They're cute. It's these little mini mouse Adidas. Aren't they so cute? Wouldn't she need to be like two to wear these? Yeah, she's not going to wear them until she's like at least two. But still, I mean, they were like 10 bucks, so we had to get them. Pretty good deal. <laughs> Matt's like, um, yeah. <laughs> My seat's still in there. So yeah, just in case. Just okay, I'll take this. This is the diaper bag that I got. I should also show you guys her changing table, which is right here amongst whatever my children were doing in here. <laughs> but this is all ready for her to come home. I've got this drawer stocked with pacifiers and changing table stuff like diapers and all that good stuff. So we're ready. What's in here? I don't even remember. Oh yeah, burp cloths. We're gonna need some of those. In her diaper bag, I'm putting a burp cloth I have her pacifier holder, there's no pacifiers in it, but it's in there. And then I have my favorite car seat cover. My mom and I were debating on this, but I just like this one the best. I think some of you guys voted with me, I don't know. But I have that, and then the best thing of all is gonna be her take home outfit. I think I'm not gonna show you her take home outfit until she comes home. But this is the blanket she's gonna use, and her take home outfit is kind of showing, so. Stay tuned, when she comes home, you guys will see it. Trust me, it's very, very cute. Here's my house today. Yesterday was a lot worse. My mom helped do the dishes, so there's actually no dishes in there. It looks like they even helped the kids with some school. We've got some wild play going on. Overall, it actually doesn't look that bad in here compared to yesterday. Yesterday was like a nightmare when I came home. 
Now I have to transfer everything from this bag to this bag. Only the important stuff, of course. But I'm going to just go ahead and do that. And I want to tell you guys thank you so much for the love and the prayers and everything for our baby. I also want to let you know our surrogate is doing great. She is fantastic. Love her. We've been texting all day, every day. And she's just become practically part of our family. So, yeah, this was just such a great experience. If you're thinking about surrogacy, as far as my journey went, I highly recommend it. I mean, being a surrogate, using a surrogate, it's such a miraculous thing that can even happen thanks to science. So, I mean, such a, such a cool thing. And I can't wait to tell Chloe about it when she's old enough to understand. Oh, look. He's getting ice cream. I'm tired and I'm hungry. I know, I know. You didn't work out, I'll eat the ice cream. <laughs> that sounds good to me. That shrimp and tortellini and spinach was really oh, good. Oh, yeah. I was wondering if I could just go back there to eat when we're not eating in the children's hospital. <laughs> you know what? I need to go down there. I want to go see that nice mural. All those murals oh, yeah. look so nice. Alrighty. Well, we'll say goodbye for now and hopefully we come back with good news tomorrow. Bye.